Hey, this is Jim, and today we're going to show you how to remove the seat rails, the sliders, from a Gen 2, Generation 2 Prius seat, 2004 to 2009. So we're going to remove the left and right rails. The first step that you're going to do is you're going to um, take the front bar, the adjustment bar off, and it's held, held on each side by a little wire clip. So you're just going to push the wire clip up and out of the way, and just kind of knock it down. On this side, there's a groove right here in the bar, so you're just pushing the, the wire out of the groove, and then you knock it out. So that's the, the wire bar. And then, <clears throat> unwieldy thing it is. And then the next thing is the outside uh, seat trim, the door side or the left side seat trim, you've got to remove. And so there are three attachment points. You have a slide-in piece right here that just slides. If you slide the, the trim that way, it comes off this, this keeper. And there's a yellow clip right here. And the yellow clip is usually pretty easy to get out. If it's sticky, you can just pinch it with a needle nose plier and it'll come out of the keeper, this uh, sheet metal keeper. You can show, you can see the, the little clip here and if you pinch it, you can see it just has like little catches. So if it's hard to get out of there, you can just pinch it with a needle nose and it'll, it'll come out. So we're gonna go ahead and flip the seat up. <clears throat> On the back of the seat is a Phillips head screw right here. Let me take that out. <clears throat> And then we're going to pull this off. It's kind of just popped on, so we're going to pop it off. Just pull it up. And then right here, about right here, is another little catch that goes down in another piece of plastic. So you're going to pull it straight up and hopefully get it to pop up. There we go. And then, like I said, you slide it forward off of here. So you lift it up and just slide it forward and it comes off. So you have this catch here. Then you have the yellow clip right here that goes down through here. And then back here you have this plastic clip that goes into this little piece right here. So after the screw is out, you got this one, this one, and this one. So once that's done, <clears throat> all we have left is to get to this top screw. There's five screws, T40 screws that hold their M8s, their T40 heads that hold the seat rail to the seat. One, two, three, four, five. The fifth one is the hard one. That's what we're gonna do right now. So to get to that, that fifth one, we're gonna have to take the seat fabric off. So you just pull this down and you just, once you get access, you're just gonna shove the screwdriver in and then it'll pop off. So we have that, and then we're just gonna work. There's plastic sewn underneath the fabric, and just pulling it off the sheet metal. You're pulling it off the sheet metal, and just peeling it back. So there's that fifth M8 screw. So we're gonna get the ratchet, <clears throat> and break that fifth screw free. Okay, so we have all <clears throat> five screws access. I'm just going to use my electric screwdriver because it's faster. Okay, before I take that one out all the way, I'm going to take, this is the seat position sensor right here. So I'm going to lift the clip, the protective clip up and away, and then I'm going to unclip. You just push down on a clip on top here, and this part can come off. You push down, and then it pops off. So we're going to free that up. And a little, there's a little wire keeper 
underneath here. You're not going to be able to see until I take this off. Once I take it off, you'll see how it works. It just has two catches. You see, there's a catch. You could, I guess, if you could get needle nose in there and pinch these. Anyway, you want to free up the wire before you take the bracket off. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and finish this. So that's one side. It's done. Get the screw right here. I'm going to go ahead and tuck this back in. And this kind of shows how this works. It's just lipped onto here. And so it rolls over and just snaps on right there. So we're going to do the same thing on this side. Get the screws out. Trim cover down here. I'll flip this sucker over. So this side is much easier because you don't have to take the trim cover off. <clears throat> but you do have to access the top screw. So we're going to use our long screwdriver and just pry this away. And then once you've got the screwdriver in between the sheet metal and the plastic keeper, you just push it in and it pops off of the lip. up and out of the way. So this, you just pull down and just pull the fabric back and you can get access to the top screw. So once you get the top screw, make sure that you're good and in those screws because you don't want to strip out the head. It's T40 and they're relatively shallow. So you break that free and just use electric here. keeper here you can just pop off see there's a keeper holding it to this plastic and you just reach in here and there's a clip and you just pop the you can take the whole thing off and there is the second frame rail so that's pretty much it got the two frame rails off and now you can go on to the next step that's it